actually. Max. To the max. Max. But hey, let's start this one off. Mr. Falls, Absolution with his buddies here in the tank. It's Team Intense on the US side. And what an intense game as the Pizza Squadron, manned by Prolosco in the air, goes off with OC on the RU side of Zavo 311. And here, we're just going to start off with the 1v1 helis. And how do you think about these kinds of fights at, at the beginning of the game? Because we've seen this go one way or the other. And oh my lord, that's Burgas with a triple. And everybody landing. And Shunokinner was already on the on uh, Bravo point there with the Jeep. Got in there fast and faster than a speedy bullet. And uh, yeah, so if that helicopter would have gone down, it would have been uh, no problem for them, actually. A robot here in control of the tank. He is one of the best tankers, as you see. And oh my god, Tofi already with the small to blow that helo to smithereens. Doshona is quick to reply and take down Tofi. He runs into a hail of fire, though. That This is the thing with OC now. They have control of the rooftop here with Rave. And with your experience of playing, you know, public or 8v8, how, how difficult is it to retake these roofs if you lose them at the start? Um, yeah, you mean, if you, especially if you have the armor pushing right up to the next to the objective, uh, you're going to get spotted pretty quickly if... Uh, the guy's running with uh, proximity, but uh, usually you could get a good chance. If you held the very, very high roofs on Charlie or Bravo, you could have a slight chance to have it. So far, it's intense taking back Bravo. They're trying to push A away, and the entire point of having Mano and Hitman is to try and push Robot out of position. You see, it's still a 2-2, two to two, so two flags for each side means that there's no ticket bleed, but Charlie being assaulted, two players already taken down, and Shona on top of Rave is being attacked now. It's Huck coming up. The old player from Team Milos, please. Obviously, 5v5 team that I invested literally no money in. <laughs> and, well, he's going to get shot down. Finally, Burgas in control of the rooftop. Unable to get the final frag. I see Don. Zam almost taken down. Of course, Zam played a few uh, ESL1 finals with the infamous so this man is extremely good he's infamous so to speak but uh, we'll see how this one pans out now what do you think of this whole positioning from robot now look at mino look at the, the entire pushes coming down on him trying to keep up <laughs> let's see here mino the guy here holding back on the Delta flag, trying to wait for the tank to roll on by and to go to Charlie and defend that while he tries to do a counter push on Delta. There is a C... Huck pleads on the C4 quad bike, but uh, about to get the oh. tank, takes him out. And Robot actually killed himself. Oh, he's gonna rage over this one. Uh, <laughs> I know, I know Robot is the... Well, I, it pisses me off as well, but I know he commented... Uh, on battle log a few days ago in a status which is turned to face log I guess uh, it's like oh why well, when will ever you know dice fix this where you don't kill yourself with the c4 when you blow it up so yeah dice please fix but hey brave right below trying to hold off that b site Charlie being assaulted more respawns coming in from OC they want to hold this flag as quickly as possible frozen will grab one with the h23 is still a second higher on the roof of Pumba and his buddy Emmy are just way too difficult to take down the situation and they're gonna be able to retake CISO so far it's been a pretty back and forth game and still a big fight over on that alpha flags robot with the ace 21 he goes in the last kill can he get it yes he jumps up and rip Mino spa guy grabs another well done with the defense on a Right. Current situation, Shauna is back up in the helicopter. He's got uh, Losco with him. And well, here's the thing. Here's a question. False. What do you think about the usage of the helicopter? Because it's not always used to the perfect extent of it. It's not always pushed to A and D and that kind of stuff. What do you think? What are your thoughts on this? No, I tend to. It's kind of good to um, if if the if the enemy ta team takes away your gimme flag, so Alpha if you're Russian and Delta if you're on the U.S. Um, I think it's quite useful to use it to get a quick response in and uh, yeah, land as many guys as you can. But it's it's so flimsy, and if you get too close to the gimme flags, the AA will 
most likely spot you and start taking you out. And uh, yeah, and the, if the tank is good enough, he'll be able to line himself up um, to get that shot on you and uh, take down the big bird. And but, um, we've seen actually a robot doing that a couple of times. Uh, well, speaking of that, he takes down Hitman. No more reinforcements on A. This will be taken, but this is perfect delay. Hitman and his buddies, their entire point is to try and hold Robot away until they have Huck up and Huck. Oh my god, but he's Huck so low on health. How's he alive? He's up, he's coming, pushing the tank already with a quad bike. Oh my god, he fails again! Robot! Oh my god, he died! Huck, Huck, please! What was that? Oh my lord, Robot has to be like. I, I, I would be praying to whatever is holy in this world. What is There's that? The helicopter coming in straight away to Alpha. My palms are sweaty after that rush with the quad bike. I could imagine robots' hands. Yeah, his knee were, and knees were pretty uh, weak. I don't know. Man, maybe a lot of mom's spaghetti here and there. I don't know. I like spaghetti. I like uh, tagliatelle. Oh my god, tagliatelle? Okay, here's the thing tagliatelle. It depends on the sauce that you uh, have with it. That's that's my, in my mind. Tagliatelle with uh, mushroom and what is it white sauce or creme fra cream friche, cream as they friche. say in South Park, and some uh, <laughs> some black pepper with mushrooms. Oh my lord, it's so good! And maybe even some chicken. Oh, bacon like it's like the carbonara kind of thing going on. Yeah, but for me it's more of a chicken thing. But yeah, it's it's pretty good. I'm not a big fan of tomato sauce. Carbonara is bacon and cream friche. Cream friche? Really? They don't do it here like that. Well, Belgium is weird. Where, where do you live again? Belgium. They're weird people. Oh, that that's your answer. Just beer and uh, French fries, and waffles. Uh, 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 Belgian fries. Oh. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. oh wait, if I could go to my American roots, I'd say freedom fries. Yeah, freedom. Anyways, back to the game here. <laughs> Well, the Delta is being properly contested with four bodies on it, and only two intents in the shed here, the cars. Yeah, Hitman trying to fight them off, it's a two versus two. Burgaz is not afraid to push up, but that's not a good position to be in. Robot is all on his own, he's gonna have to muscle his way out of this. He fires one, but he is so low on health, has to fight off two more enemies coming down on the side itself, but... There you go. Logics will be able to clean up, and that Delta flag will be going back. But how is this happening? Pumba from above with Emmy able to take down three players. That's a complete wipe on the Charlie flag, and somehow Intense are actually doing this. Baga here sent a high five to his buddy, and finally, though, Huck able to shut him down. A quick respawn from Robot at the edge of the flag. But so far, it's 162 to 200. And this is a bit scary right now for OC, the defending champions, I guess. And uh, yeah, I mean, Russian, the the Russian side on this map should usually have the advantage with a faster and slimmer tank. Um, but um, with that pressure being kept on with Huck, please, and his C4 little quad quad bike, um, he's not getting very further than A, and uh, um, uh, intends to just continuously, constantly nagging them at A. Pretty Being much. A pesky nuisance. Now that's exactly what Hitman and Huck are doing, as they were saying. Bad guys still in the ruins of the infirmary building on A. These are all barracks, obviously. Um, and some moving down the old ESL one. Well, not really champion, but finalist. He's gonna be getting two of those. Yeah, we'll clean up the Bravo flag. Losco being cleaned up at C, and this is getting a bit frustrating for OC. And they are, since they are Italian and with robot. Um, and they are pretty darn, I don't, I don't want to say uh, moody, but very emotional team, that's for sure. Uh, they don't usually react to a loss very well, and we might have to keep that in mind, because it's not just about, oh my god, he rams over Bot Guy. Rest in pepperinos, or rest in pizza. Now Robot is down to 16 health. Did he get the cleanup? No, he did not. Logic should be able to take him down. Nicely done from Hitman. And this is a bit of a fail in communication from Octavius and Tyrion. As intense, still keeping up the intense pressure on the A site. Johnny Killer loaded up here with his delivery goods of three infantry total if he bails out. Um, Bravo could be a chance for them to take back with only one infantry remaining on it, and that is uh, Sam. Burgas is on the roof. Hopefully, he can clear it off. And gang, they gotta get control of these roofs here, Milos. Um, 
Yeah, it's very, very, very important on this uh, this map here. Yeah, and it's it's at this point it is just about the infantry fragging ability. And in my mind, in my experience, the only person that can actually rival a player like Sam is currently going 16 to 10. Tofi on 15 8. Uh, these guys are old. Uh, 5v5 players are pretty much still 8v8 players. Frozen, the only person that have that has ever made it to an ESL1 championship land in 5 vs 5. That was last season of Gamescom, we got to meet him. Uh, he's really the best bet when it comes to infantry on that OC side. And while finally able to go for the cleanup, now it's on to OC to actually defend the site. As Rave, the old Adelax, oh my god, this is the old Adelax Mangoose team. These guys were pretty much godlike before. They are trying to stay alive. Rave wants to get his teammates onto him, but Hitman is onto their dirty tricks. I'm just spraying down, trying to push them away. Now, this is a question for stream shot because uh, it looks like it's not as active as I would like it to be. Let me know in the stream shot. Do you think the Italians can take it here in Team OC? Can they overclock themselves to victory, or do you think Intense will just have a pretty darn easy fight and not at a, Intense at all? Actually, take this first map. First map, at least. Salvo 311 on round 1, 64 to 187. It's not looking too good for the pizza team here. It's frozen still up on the top of the machinery. Oh, I really don't like the position that frozen is in. There we go. Finally getting taken down. And Shona. Trying to fight off the infantry. He does have one more teammate to help him out, but no, he gets blown up by the actual evolution. And he's still alive, Dindati. How are you alive in a situation like this? He can't Spoomba. But will it be enough? The Swedish player is not really the biggest threat in this situation. And Emmy taking down Burgas as soon as he spawns. Here's the double kill. What do you need an actual rifle when you have a Glock 18? What do you think about the G18, actually? Uh, my friend falls. Oh my god, he takes out another Sam. This is ridiculous. Uh, like the G18, well, uh, it's okay. I mean, I'm more of a Magnum, make my day, Clint Eastwood kind of guy. But um, yeah, I mean, it's a bit OP. It's a good, it's a good uh, secondary. I mean, with his automatic high rate of fire, you can uh, make sure you clear up anyone left there with low health. But uh, yeah, the, the Magnum is good for getting that peaking shot. And if you if you practiced and well rehearsed with knowing where the positioning of the uh, like all the hit markers are and where the body and where the head is going to be. You should be able to be a little bit more effective with the 44 if you're in a good position. Whereas G18 is kind of a last resort panic fire, uh, in my opinion. Yeah, but this is the thing. Um, the 44 Magnum has been severely nerfed in the previous, in the most recent patch for B4. Which means that it can only one-shot headshot. It's like let half the, the range that it used to one-shot headshot out because it was... I think 40 meters before, now it's a lot less, like, it is pretty much trash, because you'll only use that 44 to get those long-range headshots, as we were talking about, but now it's almost useless, which really breaks my heart, because I love the 44 mag on pretty much any map with these accurate shots, but I guess we'll have to live with the uh, balancing, quote-unquote, <clears throat> in the game, but now Charlie is being contested. This is now huge for OC. They need to do something in this situation It's not gonna get easier at all and robot is being assaulted bit by bit. He's here's Huck again And then um, no, I'm going a bit full Dasker in this situation, but Huck gets shot down well done rest in pepperinos, but that will not deter intense They already sent players on that a set. There's two already harassing in absolution and Mino Oh, then the roadkill with Hitman, just bailing out of the chopper, smooshing whoever that was. I didn't manage to see the kill cam feed there, but that was epic. Well placed landing by Hitman. And Prolosco and Buddy here in the... Yeah. The trains on Delta, Prolosco. yeah. Here's one, here's the double. Absolution just absolutely shracking people on that Delta sit. We'll clean up it there and... And a 2-2 two to two flag situation right here. Both gimmies connected and taken by the US side of the boys at Intense Esports. So this is the thing now with Intense. Uh, because having a double gimme situation is pretty darn good if you can keep that tank away. Which is exactly what they have been doing against Robot since the start of the game. And uh, if you don't know what a gimme is, it is obviously the closest uh, 
flag to your base. It's pretty much a natural expansion, if you want to say it, in StarCraft 2 turns. Uh, you know, you'll naturally gravitate to that flag. And well, even with only Hitman, he still is pulled back to fed off uh, Robot and Bad Guy with Huck as well. At this point, Intense want to win with the maximum amount of tickets just to keep this in their hands. And Huck is lurking. My lord, this is some serious lurk here. Robot will be able to spot him, but the broken hitboxes of the actual buildings blocking the shot. Here's Stato, one health, Huck. You <laughs> lucky son of a gun. In a great spot here in this uh, nice corner. There you go, bye guy takes him down. Favorite. <laughs> uh, we are joined, of course, by Darkwins. Hello, Darwins, amigo. And of course, Neometrix, our awesome French caster. Awesome, awesome person. Hopefully we'll get to meet, actually not this weekend, next weekend, going to a home warming, co uh, home warming uh, party this place. So yeah, congrats on the new house. Raspa, obviously. So now 12 tickets to 151. This is a bit scary right here. Mangust or OC finally able to get a couple frags of their own, but Absolution wanting to shut them down. Sean to try to push onto that C set, but three frags already in the control of the guys at Intense Esports. A lot of fire being shot down. Huck will trade off versus one. Emmy will be cleaned up by Shauna, but will this be enough? I don't really think so. This map will turn to the Intense side 151 to zero. Well met.